Okay, so we are back with another Super Battle Road completion with a free-to-play team. This time, we have Super Saiyan category. This Super Battle Road was really weird when I was running it, right? Let me know if you had this experience. Like, normal attacks on this, like, if you take a normal attack, depending on, like, it, it's not that much. It's not that much in compared to, like, other ones that I've tried already. And then when the super attack comes in, it's massive. It is huge. Like, a lot. Like, extreme super battle rate. And no matter, like, the damage reduction or, like, you know, you know, whatever defensive item I use, it's still pretty a substantial amount of damage you still take, uh, depending on the character you are tanking with. Is that just me? Or maybe it's just the free-to-play cards I'm running? I'm not too sure. But anyway, this is the free-to-play team that we are running. So, we are running the new LR Goku EZA. Just dropped on... The global side of Doka Battle, which is nice, which has allowed me to have a 90% leader, which is cool. And of course, another strong unit. I, I think that it was like a Whis activated and I still took 100,000 damage, which is insane. Uh, then we have Ghost Tanks in there with the stuns. Didn't stun as much as I was hoping for, but it stunned in like the most clutch situation, so I will take it. Uh, we have the uh, Goku and Gohan uh, for, you know, Goku family support. Then we have, of course, the friendly is going to be Namek Goku. Um, he has the Rage Mode, which comes in handy. He has, you know, the uh, the transformation, which makes him to a better tank and a better damage dealer. And uh, overall, very good card and leader skill. We have High School Gohan, which is the reason why I actually can't do it on my JP. I would have done this on my JP quite a while ago, but because I don't have High School Gohan, just a, a really good tank overall, it was really hard to do this stage. Uh, without like insane luck. So that's why uh, I could do it on global right now instead of JP. Uh, we also have the uh, Vegeta and Trunks. Haven't used that card for quite a while, but they were a good choice. There's not much you can pick from in the Super Saiyan category for free to play. So, uh, but they're still really good. They can get some decent amount of defense and they can still output some decent damage. Uh, who else are we missing? Did I talk about Ghost Thanks. Yeah, we did. Um... Oh, and LR AGO Trunks. I mean, He's an all-time classic. For any time he can be ran on a Super Battle Road, he just does amazing damage. So, good thing that I chose him. It was either him or the AGL World Tournament Gohan who can stun and provide support. But I just wanted some big damage, so that's what I went for. Anyway, uh, we are versing the Namekians first. Uh, there's no real order that I really wanted to deal with other than Piccolo first. And then just stun or, you know, tank. Yeah, just stun whoever's, like, dealing... Like, the most amount of threatening attacks. Uh, in terms of rotations, there wasn't really anything solidified. But I'd try to keep uh, Ghost Tanks and uh, High School Gohan separately, just so I can stun in uh, two different turns. Uh, also, you know, as much as I could, of course, because I like to change my rotations around depending on the attack patterns. Uh, LR Goku on a different rotation to the Namek Goku, if possible. I mean... It's not always going to be the case, but uh, that is just spread the uh, amount of DPS we can do per turn. It's uh, quite a long fight. The um, Wicked Bloodline part is the longest part. Um, I actually am trying to get a Doku mode as fast as possible so we can hit that Doku mode on the second fight. So um, you can see I'm getting a lot of colored orbs and probably unnecessary amounts, but... Uh, it's just so we can accelerate that Doku meter. Anyway, I felt really confident when High School Gohan was around. Uh, you know, he could pretty much tank anything. Uh, sometimes I would stack a damage reduction item. I feel like in this run specifically, I did get a little lucky. Uh, versing Hatchiak and... I forgot the, the doctor's name. God dang it. True, true DBZ fan I am. But, yeah, I really got lucky on there. You'll see that uh, as we go along. That means, <clears throat> from the new stages, we have done Youth, uh, Wicked Bloodline, Goku's Family, and Super Saiyan. So, four out of the ten that's released, not too bad. Uh, I think Final Trump is possible, with a little bit of luck. I can't do it on my JP, because I don't have a Thousand Day Goku. Uh, but I will, might tr give it a try very soon. There's a lot of Super Battle Roads that I am trying now. You know, it's very impressive when you can do it fully free-to-play, and it's super fun. Um, especially when completing it. It's like, wow, I actually did it. If you've watched my other Super Battle Road runs recently, I, this is all recorded on the same day as well. Like, uh, one day, I just decided, and this was on Christmas Day. So on Christmas Day, I was like, 
you know what, let's just grind the, the super battle roads. And I actually, that's what I did for Christmas. So, uh, very exciting day I had. Nails getting wrecked by my LR Goku. Slowly, uh, this should be the last turn. Um, yeah, I use an Android 8 here as well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but okay. <laughs> but yeah. Get a nice little crit on Nail. Uh, Trunk should finish off Nail here. And then I'm pretty sure Goku and Gohan also take out Lord Slug. Which is not the best because I was still trying to delay that Dokum meter. I really wanted to delay the Dokum meter, but we have about three turns to get into it. Luckily, this event is, or this part is really, really tanky, so it didn't really matter too much. If anything, I could have went without stalling too much, but I decided to just stall just a little bit. Um, we used three items on the first phase, so I actually ended up with two items at the last phase, so we used uh, three items here. But yeah, this is where it gets really hard. Uh, we don't have much type advantage. We only have Trunks full of cooler. We have no nobody for King Cold, and then no Freezer. We only have one character, which is Ghost Tanks, which is still a hard hitter. But um, you know, if somebody was physical, that would be a lot better, of course. I had to ruin the rotations here. It would have, in hindsight, it should have been better if I just uh, put Ella Goku in first place instead of Namek Goku. Uh, just because Ella Goku just excels way better in the Doku mode, which we're gonna get a Doku mode with Namek Goku instead. Which he doesn't do too much damage right now in this form. Especially if you haven't taken any hits as well. So, who I stun is dependent on who is attacking. So, with a Gohan here, I believe we stun, we'll try to stun Frieza. And then with Ghost Tanks, we stun Cooler. If we don't stun Freezer, it's not the end of the world because, you know, um, Ghost Tanks is in, so he should tank pretty well. It's just, you know, nice for the next turn. And then, hopefully, we, we really want to just stun Cooler. Just in case he super attacks Ghost Tanks, and then that would be, that would be really bad. Uh, we stun Freezer, so that's one half. I believe we get the double stun here, so we're all good there. Super attack 24 damage. That's what happens when you use a damage reduction unit and a Whis. You're just invincible. And yeah, there's the cooler stun, which is awesome. We did some decent amount of damage to cooler, and same Trunks is gonna do the same as well. The double stun. Two million attacks, that is really, really nice, especially with flat bonus. He is the next character to get the Prime Battle Easy A. So I can't wait for that to happen. Would that mean AGL Extreme Super Battle Road will be able to be complete by then? Hope so. As you can see, we are going to Doku Mode with Namek Goku. Not my first choice, but it is a choice that we have to make. I think maybe we could have avoided it if we didn't collect the colored orbs, but... Time to get I was like, ah, why not? Why not? We got them all stunned, so we didn't have to use an item. Let's just run it. You know, it's funny, I don't use too much of the Transform, uh, like, the Super Saiyan Goku. Like, that's not ever in my mind. I never, like, purposely want to take damage so early on so I can get the transformation. It might have been better for us, but... I never... I, I played this really, really safe, so I used those items when I really felt like I needed to. And never really risked it. And in turn, I risked a lot on the last part. But yeah, you can see, we took our Cooler uh, halfway against King Cold. Cooler was almost dead anyway, so it didn't really change too much. And then Freezer's still alive, healthy over there. But now we just have two targets. With two stunners, it's really good. But yeah, speaking about the normal attacks, like, 
I'd be taking like double digit damage for a normal attack. Not even on like uh Gohan. But like just a random character. And then all of a sudden it would spike up to like 200,000 when he super attacks, which is insane. That's that that, that is not gradual gradual increase. Like we could not weak a lot, it's like movie bosses. Like it makes sense that with a Whis, I'd take like 24,000 for a normal, and then and then a super attack does 200,000, right? Like 10 times the amount of a normal attack is where I feel like it makes sense. But this, you take like double digit damage and then boom, out of nowhere, 200,000 damage for a super, it's crazy. It's like they nerf the attack of normal attacks, and then like when they super attack, it's like normal, back to normal, or like even higher. But I never really received too many super attacks at all as well. Like, I would maybe take like one max per turn. It was never like two super attacks per turn. Or maybe there was, but I missed it. But like... Oh, wait, we got the transformation on Goku. Uh, Freeze is dead here. Boom! Cannon. Start that lowering attack. And then Trunks with the 1.6. Does Trunks' passive update as... You go along? Or is that at the start of the turn? I didn't really remember. Because that, that was quite a lot of attacks that... But yeah, pretty smooth. We did use quite a bit of items, but I mean, we're full health, so that's the best part. And now to the final phase. Hachiak and Doctor... or whoever that is. God damn it. <laughs> Princess Snake and Ghost Sasha left. Got to use the Ghost Sasha first. Pray that we stun. Uh, type advantage all the way. It's kind of like pretty much like Barbity versus and Boo versus us again in normal Super Battle Roads. Where Hatch X is the tankiest one. Look at that, that's so much HP. Alright, time to stun Hachiak. And then we got lucky with the blues there, which was pretty cool. Yeah, just trying to target the, um, we're trying to take out the other guy and then Hachiak first, of course, as soon as possible, but also trying to do as much damage to Hachiak. So all our STR units go to Hachiak, just regardless. We're doing some chunks on him. Here we go. This is where it gets kind of spicy here. We got one last item. We have to use it or else it's we can get really unlucky. And I wanted to put ghost tanks at the end just because of the fact that, you know, we're taking two tech hits at the end. There it is. So we're running this no items now the rest of the way. Take a fat super attack. See? 220. Like, I... If I put Goku in a different super battle, he's for a super attack, I feel like he would not take 229,000. Type neutral. And like, you know, with a Prince of Snake activated. It's ridiculous. It's really scary. And his super attack goes fast as well. Had check halfway to death. Ghost tanks with the 1.6 mil attacks that he's crazy too. Definitely, the EZA makes this doable. 
And now we're in the situation where nobody's stunned. Here we go. Can we get the stun with High School Gohan? We do not. That makes it even scarier. Oh, wait. Is the tech guy stunned? I think he was. The additional super attack here came in real clutch. So now we can focus all our attacks onto Hachiak, and it just... With a lot of STR units, we're pretty much good. And luckily for us, we took enough normal hits. To transform and awaken. Angry invincibility frames. Goku, an angry boy. And yeah, yeah, the rest is history. Let's let's be honest. Three crazy super attacks for free is awesome. You don't get to witness this too many times as well. 1.1. 1 .1. I was hoping for the uh, hidden potential system to kick in just a little bit. Because we actually don't even beat Hatchiak with this. We have to go for one more turn. I think maybe with a full 12 key I would have made it, but we had to have 10 key here. Yeah. Even the normal attack couldn't do it for us. Luckily, that would have ended the run, by the way. If we didn't get that invincible Super Saiyan angry form, we would have lost the run because of that super attack. So it was a lot of luck. It was definitely a lot of luck. That was just like perfect timing at its finest. But um, with that said, I mean, GG's. Goku for the win here. Always for the win. And that is Super Saiyan Super Battle Road. Uh, my game crashes here. An error has occurred. <laughs> But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you check out all my social medias down below and comment down below to help me out on the algorithm. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video as we always upload here daily content. Until the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.